G'day Foot Fixers, welcome to this short video. I'm Ted Jednak. You're about to discover the three crucial keys to help patients with osteoarthritis in their midfoot. Have you noticed how many of your patients over 50 complain of arthritis somewhere in their feet? What about the 60 plus year olds? Heaps, hey? The literature tells us that osteoarthritis is a significant cause of pain in older adults. So what do we typically do for people with osteoarthritis in their foot joints? Rest? Sure. I mean, that can relieve symptoms, but does nothing for treating the problem. Anti-inflammatory medications. It's the most commonly used treatment intervention, but again, it doesn't treat the cause of the problem, only the symptoms or the effect. And then there's the side effects. They can be worse than the problem that they're supposed to be treating. What about orthotic therapies? Inner soles, rocker bottom shoes. How effective are these options for osteoarthritis? Well, the literature is very sparse on this very option. What about surgery? We know that this should be the last resort, don't we? Okay, so what can we do conservatively to help all those patients with osteoarthritis in their mid-tarsus? And this includes those rigid Pez Cavus feet too. Well, here's the three crucial keys to help those mid-feet. First, we need to accurately identify that osteoarthritis is present. Consider the clinical presentations of pain, uh, osteophytes, range of movement, history, of course. But the best objective tool is a weight-bearing plain film x-ray. This diagnostic image will show you, literally in black and white, how much cartilage is still present. If there's no joint space, meaning no cartilage, it's unlikely that the conservative treatment I'm about to suggest will help. However, if there is joint space, meaning hyaline cartilage is present, that's a big tick. Key number two is, it, look, as you know, the stimulation of synovial fluid for rejuvenating the worn cartilage is critical to help osteoarthritic joints. Movement is the number one factor that stimulates synovial fluid production. And that brings me to crucial key number three, which is, you need to mobilize the affected joints. Now, two elements of mobilization apply here. One, you, the practitioner, needs to, you need to specifically and accurately isolate the cuneiforms so you can mobilize the joints within your patient's tolerance level. This action alone will improve mobility and motion in these joints in a very short period of time, usually within one or two weeks. And your senior patients, they'll love you for it, let me tell you. The cuneiform mobilization was a critical mobilization technique that helped Dennis, a wheat and sheep farmer who was on oral morphine as part of his pain management. Surgical fusion was the next option his GP recommended. Six weeks of specific joint mobilization therapy had Dennis off all his pain meds and his GP and uh, massage therapist then <laughs> contacted us to find out what were we doing for Dennis. His GP and massage therapist became great referrers too. The good news is that Dennis's plans to sell his farm, they'd all been shelved and he continues to work his farm to this day. His wife and son are especially happy about that too. Nina Jukes, podiatrist of Suffolk in the UK, undertook foot mobilization training with us here down under. Nina recently wrote to me, Hi Ted, this elderly gent came to see me because he was told that osteoporosis and osteoarthritis were its problems. His GP told me that it was something he had to put up with. I managed to get a few x-rays, had a feel and gently worked on the ankle. There's crepitus, understandably, and it felt a bit aggravated after the treatment, but the alternative was surgical fusion. So I figured, well, why not give it a try? I've had quite a bit of success with old rickety osteoarthritic joints. I warned him that it might be a bit painful, but he had nothing to lose at this point because he's become more restricted over the last three years and his life is really limited. So you can see here that Nina's patient is suffering terribly and has not been given any other treatment option apart from surgery and medical pain management. 
Anyway, Nina provided just one treatment session of foot mobilization therapies and listened to what she had to say. He returned today and he said that his foot's moved better than it has for ages and he has no pain, so yay. The day after I treated him, his GP saw his x-ray, I got sent a copy, and called him in to see him uh, to say that his, the only way his ankle would get better was to have bone surgery. I was so pleased that this gent could tell his doctor that his foot felt so much better after just one treatment. How cool is that to have a patient tell his doctor, eh, thanks, but no thanks. Paul Buttle, podiatrist in New South Wales, has been a long time practitioner of FNT. Paul sent this message to me. I've just had a female patient in her 50s with mid-tarsal painful osteoarthritis refer three friends to me because her mobilization treatment was so successful. Thanks heaps, Ted. <laughs> How cool is that to change so many lives with your own hands? You see, those patients, Dennis, Nina's and Paul's patients, they've had their lives dramatically improved, but it didn't end there. Those patients, GPs, their families and friends, they too have had their lives improved. The GPs realized they had new treatment options to recommend apart from surgery and drugs. The families and friends and the patients could now enjoy more fun and physical activities. And Nina and Paul's reputations also received a great boost too. All because they took the step with their ongoing professional skill development. Cuneiform mobilization is just one of the foot mobilization techniques we train you in in our FMT trainings. Just think. How many of your patients would benefit from improved relief and mobility in their midfoot? The second mobilization element is to teach your patient how to mobilize the area for themselves. The easiest and most effective option is to use some high-tech equipment like this. Yep, a tennis ball. Teach your patients how to roll their foot over the tennis ball so that they get forefoot and rear foot flexing over the tennis ball in the midfoot. This gentle mobilization of the midfoot with the tennis ball creates movement in those joints. And as you know, movement is the key element required to stimulate synovial fluid in those arthritic joints. It's nature's own lubricant. It's just like giving those joints a grease and oil change. Now you do this specifically with your mobilization therapy and then the patient continues to work while having a ball. Make sense? Great. So that's the three crucial keys that Nina and Paul used to help their osteoarthritis patients. They accurately confirmed the presence of osteoarthritis. They got movement happening in the joints to stimulate synovial fluid and they were able to mobilize the affected joints, get the patients doing that with their own tennis ball exercise. Do these three things and you'll be astounded at the impact you'll have on your senior arthritic patients, all without any side effects. The other great bonus you'll create is forefoot relief for met head and digital problems. Watch this. You see, when you improve the mobility of the cuneiform metatarsal joints, the metatarsals can dorsiflex more easily, especially in rigid pes cavus feet, which helps dissipate the ground reaction forces at the forefoot. Now, how cool is that? It, uh, that reminds me, what's the hardest thing about learning to ride a bike? The road. Sorry. Uh, okay, the road might be hard, but you can easily learn all of the finer details of this midfoot mobilization technique in our new FMT trainings in 2019. And not to mention the eight other mobilizations you'll also master. You'll find the link for further workshop details on this page. Remember, to offer a new service or help people like never before, you cannot keep doing what you've already been doing. You need to add to your skill set. Hey, that could be a great new year commitment for you and your CPD and your patients, couldn't it? Commit to undertaking a new training and a new treatment service this year. If you choose FMT, we'd love to help you. If you choose another modality, I know your patients will appreciate that too. Remember, your patients' futures are in your hands. So make your hands the best tools in your toolkit. Until next time, serve with spirit, consult with care, and help more people today.